Hi everyone, welcome back to Hi Mama's online activity content hub. My name is Kaya and I'm an early childhood educator here at Hi Mama headquarters. For today's activity, we are going to be doing a science experiment called walking water. This is it here, completely finished. It's taken about three or four hours for our water to completely walk across each cup. It was actually a really cool process. I know the kiddos will love this one. Um, another thing you can do is actually set up a spare camera or a spare phone and put it on time lapse mode and you can watch it over, you know, overnight or over the course of a few hours and watch the water physically walk across. I did that and it was super, super cool. So um, really cool science experiment. So let's hop into it. For this, all you'll need are some small cups. I have these great plastic cups here that are clear on the side. It's great if they're, they are clear on their sides because then you can see the water kind of travel up the paper towel, up and out. Um, you can use like small mason jars, small drinking glasses. Um, those ones work as well. We'll need some food coloring. And for the food coloring, we're only, gonna, only going to be using the primary colors. So red, blue, and yellow there. Um, Food coloring works best. If you don't have food coloring, you can use paint. Just make sure it's like really, really thin and really potent. Um, you wanna make sure that the colors are nice and deep and rich. We'll also need some paper towel and some water. So let's move this and we can hop into this experiment. Okay, and this experiment's really great to do with your child as well, just to kind of talk about why the water is walking and how it walks. It's a really cool um, experiment. So first thing we're going to do is take our cups, put them in a row just like this, and we're using seven. Okay, I've got all my cups. Next thing we're going to do is fill them up. So you want them fairly full, like this size here I was doing about half full with water. Just fill them all up. Another great part that your child can do is making sure that if they're filling them up with water that they're all even and equal. And kids love to play with water. Okay, so I've got my water in there. Next thing I'm gonna do is take my red food coloring. We're gonna start with this one and we're going to add the food coloring if they're in a line here to the first and the last one. So the first one and the last one, that's it. And I forgot to say, we're going to add about like five drops of food coloring because again, we want this really potent and rich and the color to be very, very vibrant. Next thing we're gonna do is take our yellow and we're going to add it to the third cup. So if I'm going left to right here, first, second, third, that's my third cup. We're gonna add five drops to that one as well. And lastly, our blue will be in our fifth cup. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. Boom, that is our blue cup one two three four five perfect next thing we're going to do is take our paper towel um, this paper towel is great because it's the smaller kind if you're able to find the paper towel that you can like have select the size i think it's called those ones are great because you don't need a lot of paper towel you just need it to be like thin so i'm going to take my paper towel and fold it hot dog wise a couple times so lengthwise and what we're gonna do is place it in the red cup, half of it, and the other half leaning into this clear cup. And that is how our water is going to travel. And there we go. And just let it sink all the way in so that the top of the paper towel is just resting on the lips of it. And we're gonna continue this all the way down. I'll show you what a completed cup will look like. So I've got my red here, my yellow here, in the middle, we'll make my orange. So I'm gonna put another paper towel, half in yellow, half in the clear, and eventually some of the water from the yellow will walk up. And already, as soon as I put it in, the yellow water starts to walk up that paper towel. Same with the red here. And eventually they will meet in the middle here and blending of the red and the yellow will make orange. So we're gonna continue that paper towel process all the way down. And eventually, once you've given it a few hours, it will start to walk across just like that and it'll create a rainbow. It's a super, super cool science activity. Let us know what you think, how yours turned out at home. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you very soon. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.